So what's up guys? I wanted to do a review on this uh, arcade cabinet from Arcade 1UP. This is the Centipede Legacy cabinet that just released. And just wanted to go over a few awesome things about it and a few nitpicks that I have about it. Uh, firstly, let's go over uh, the, the bad things. The bad things is, and it's a big one, is the aspect size of the screen is wrong and yeah it works for some of the games that are on it but the main game is centipede and it's the wrong aspect for it so you basically get the black bars on the side now it doesn't look the worst ever uh, by any means as far as it showing up on the sides but it does squish it up a little bit and it is supposed to be longer uh, the original Arcade 1UP cabinet that came out had the correct aspect ratio, even the uh, party cade that came out. So I don't really understand why they went with this aspect ratio for the monitor. Another thing with the monitor that's bad is this is an older style monitor that they had on previous cabinets and it's got the washout on it. Uh, it's also too bright and there's no way to control the settings as far as that goes. So while it is playable, I feel like it is too bright. It does look a little bit darker than what you're seeing uh, with the camera uh, on the phone and whatnot. So those are my main two gripes about it. Uh, everything else though, uh, let's go over some of the good. The best thing about it, in my opinion, is that Arcade 1UP has finally nailed their marquees, their light-up marquees. This is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the print quality is gorgeous. The backlighting on it is gorgeous. It just looks fantastic. Uh, the art, side art, is amazing. I wish they would have gone with a single panel rather than uh, two separate ones so there was no line on it. You'll notice that I have these little white stickers on here to cover up the screw heads. I think that's something that should actually come with these so you don't have to make those yourselves. Uh, I've got a Cricut machine and some vinyl so it wasn't expensive for me because I already had the materials. Uh, it comes with the molded coin door. What I did is I used a Dremel tool on the back and just cut out some holes behind it on the actual board. And then when I put this on here, I went to Walmart and bought a cheap little $5 LED strip uh, and, and ran it through the back and then it just turns on whenever I turn the power on. And then I also have some of those uh, stuck to the back here. And as far as the games go and everything like that, they all play pretty good. The, the spinner's good and everything. The ball works fantastically and everything. Uh, I really like the volcano buttons on it and everything. So kind of hard to play two-handed, but the ball works great. And, uh, you know, I've got a high score on here. I'm actually like number four on the leaderboards as far as uh, the scoreboard goes right now. So the online leaderboards, that's what the live button's for. It doesn't have multiplayer, but it does have online leaderboards, which are really cool. Uh, so I really like that aspect of it. They really nailed how it looks like the arcade looks originally. I really like how that looks and everything. But uh, I really wish they would have gone with the correct aspect ratio. The speakers sound good for what they are. I mean, this isn't an arcade where you're going to be pumping loud music through it and stuff like that. See, top scores. Anything settings. There's g Rack right there, number four. <laughs> but you get Crystal Castles, Gravatar, Liberator, Lunar Landing. These all have their own settings if you go in and everything. So... Uh, you can check and see what settings they have. I didn't really change any of my settings other than just like the default settings and stuff like that. Uh, so whenever you change them up, you know, you go from the arcade settings to any settings. I did do it on this. I added a, I changed the point score down to like 10,000. So I got a, a life every 10,000 rather than every 12. So it'll put your settings over on that on the on the leaderboards if you change anything 
So, uh, let's show you some more of the games. Millipede, Missile Command, Space Duel, Super Breakout, Tempest. Tempest plays really good. Asteroids and Asteroids Deluxe. So, you got a quite a good array of games on here and everything. But like I said, my main complaint really was the aspect ratio of the screen not being correct. And my little buddy's got the backer to it. I left the back off to get easy access to the control panel and stuff and everything in case I wanted to do any modding. But anyway, um, you know, I think they really nailed the price point of these machines finally. I think $4.99 is a lot more plausible than what they were charging, like $6.99 and $7.99 for some of these others. I don't mind it not coming with a stool. This comes with the riser. I like how minimalist they've gone with the front panel on this and just put the Atari. Uh, I had a modified version of the older arcade of this and I sold it because they were coming out with this one. Uh, but I did the same thing. I put a little decal on the bottom and made it look almost just like this. Uh, but like I said, I knew they were coming out with this one and I've got other stools and stuff like that. So I didn't need, uh, the bar stool with it and everything. So for my money, I think it's worth the $4.99.99. I can get over the, the screen and everything because I just love the game so much. And when you're, you know, sitting down in front of it playing and all that, the quality of the screen is still good. Uh, it's just a little washed out compared to some of their better screens. Uh, so I wish, you know, but you're getting your Wi-Fi, you're getting a new cabinet, uh, you're getting the molded coin doors, you're getting several more games. And I, to me, I think that's worth it. So $4.99, I think, is a good selling point for these. Uh, if this was $6.99, I probably would have held off and waited on a sale or something like that, uh, especially with no bar stool. But I think I think at $4.99, it's, it's well worth the price. So anyway, um, I'd probably give it somewhere, if I was scoring it 1 to 10, I'd probably give it probably a, like a 7. I think the, the biggest deterrent for a lot of people that are interested in this uh, is going to be the screen. And when you're playing a game and you're focused on that, and that's the main thing about it, and you don't get that aspect ratio correct, and you use an older uh, style monitor on it, and you know that there's better ones out there, that really takes away uh, from the experience. I do think it's still a good experience. It's just, if you're going to spend $500, I think, you know, especially when the original ones were like $299, $399 when they came out, I, th I think if you're going to spend that kind of money, then you should get a better screen and the correct aspect ratio. If you're going to make the whole thing reminiscent of the original arcade, put the original size and aspect ratio screen in it. It doesn't make any sense to do it otherwise. So anyway, that's it, guys. I appreciate you watching the video. Thanks, y'all. Take care. Bye.